Hey, good morning guys. So this morning, I'm setting up my new snowboard and setting up a twin park stance. I want the board to feel the same going in either direction. So my back foot is gonna be at an angle of negative 12. Front foot is gonna be at positive 12 and the same distance from the nose and tail. So completely twin stance, perfect for riding park, riding switch. One more thing too, is I'm trying out a new narrow stance today. So I'll see how that feels for grabs and tricks in general. Just, yeah, narrowing up the stance, see if that makes a difference. All right guys, so just got onto the seventh heaven chair here on Black Hill Mountain. Had to take the gondola all the way up Whistler, then the peak to peak, a bus ride, now the seventh heaven chair, and then finally reach the Black Home Glacier. Um, yeah, stoked to go up, see what the glacier's like. Uh, in the past, they've had some rail lines, a couple jumps. It's been a few days since I last snowboarded, so excited to come up here, check out the park, and have some fun. Wow, check out these views up here. Yo guys, just had our first couple laps here up on the Blackham Glacier. Incredible setup. There's a couple of rail features. You got a, like a medium sized jump, a few quarter pipes, and followed by a few more rail and, and pipe features. Um, I think it's the best Worcester Glacier setup they've ever had up here. I think my favorite part also is just uh, these T-bars allow you to get really quick laps in. So if any of you guys are planning on doing some summer snowboarding either up here in Whistler or anywhere else, definitely do some T-bar and tow rope training ahead of time because this T-bar up here is pretty gnarly and uh, even it's, it's pretty tough for us at the moment. Yeah, it's super steep, icy <laughs> and sketchy. So I wouldn't come up here if you're a beginner. <laughs> <Aye>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
On our way back down, Glacier definitely exceeded my expectations. Awesome guys, so just got home, had an amazing day up on the Whistler Glacier. I think it's actually the best setup that they've ever had up there for the public. So they had a jump, they had some hips, some quarter pipes, and then lots of jib features. Um, it's just amazing too, because you can do quick laps with the T-bar there. Also had a great day on the Capital Horoscope. Uh, my first impressions is that it's a great sort of just do everything kind of board. On the jumps, I felt very stable on the takeoff and in the landing. For popping an ollie, there's lots of snap through the tail. And then for getting into a press, whether it's no, nose press or tails press, the board was soft enough that you could do the press. And then also felt very secure with the edges. So riding up to a feature and making little turns and using the edges to make adjustments, everything just felt very solid, secure, and overall felt like a great board. I even got a little bit of a powder line at the end of the day today, which was pretty insane for it being June. But thanks so much for watching today, guys. Gonna be doing more videos up on the Worcester Glacier this week. And then Saturday, heading down for High Cascade Session 1. So I'll see some of you guys down there. Can't wait for that. Thanks so much again for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.